Can you see it? Yes. Okay, great. So uh, we'll start. So today, uh, this is uh, the lecture number four devoted to this topic, uh, GL regular nine Huis operators. And uh, that's going to be the last lecture devoted uh, to this uh, area. Good. Uh, so what are we going to do? Uh, so today, uh, the, hopefully, that uh, that's going to be a little bit more uh, interesting, maybe, and easier, because uh, we are going to discuss uh, the, the case of dimension two. So GL regular in dimension two, at least we will be able to see some very global examples. Uh, but we will start with local classification. In this case, everything can be done absolutely completely. So we will be able to describe all possible uh, normal forms uh, for GL regular and then who is operators in dimension two. Uh, so, the, so having uh, this description, so we will be able to describe the structure of a uh, singular set, uh, a set of singular points. So those where uh, algebraic type of this operator may change. And uh, then uh, uh, based on this knowledge, uh, so that we uh, will be able to construct global examples in dimension two. And actually, uh, so we will be able to see kind of first non-trivial topological abstractions for uh, for existence of non-Huis operators with special properties, of course, like GL regularity. Uh, topological abstractions in the sense that we will we will see that not every two-dimensional compact surface may admit uh, such uh, operators. And as usual, so to, uh, to we'll finish with exercises. Uh, what is important, uh, uh, we are going to assume that all the objects we're dealing with today are the real analytic. And this is um, sort of, you no. Know, this is, looks like technical assumption, uh, you know, but somehow it is important uh, of course, we expect that uh, the most interesting examples are real analytic and uh, for, um, you know, let's say, for applications, uh, this theory, real analytic theory, so is expected to be useful and maybe even sufficient. Uh, no, no, however, uh, it would also, it would be nice to uh, to to understand everything in the smooth case, but it appears uh, that uh, it is not so easy. And uh, in the smooth case, so there are still too many open questions uh, concerning uh, every item in this list, local classification and singular set and global examples. So, so global examples, we definitely know this, that global examples uh, in uh, in the a smooth case so can be essentially different from those in the real analytic case. No, but uh, that's what uh, the, that's. I, I'm not going to discuss uh, this at all. Uh, so maybe uh, at the end of the of this course, when we'll be talking about open problems, so as we will mention. Uh, are this sort of non-trivial passage from the real analytic to smooth case, uh, but not today. Today, everything is just real analytic and uh, we forget about uh, uh, anything else. Uh, good, uh, so let's start. Uh, 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 the, well, first of all, let's see what is G GL regularity in dimension two. What is that? Uh, the, the, you, you remember the, the definition. So GL regularity means uh, that uh, each uh, eigenvalue admits uh, not just one single eigenvector. It, uh, equivalently, you may say that geometric multiplicity of each eigenvalue equals one uh, or uh, uh, in the you can reformulate it in the way I like. Uh, to, it simply means uh, that for each eigenvalue, there is only one Jordan block. Uh, in dimension two, the, everything is absolutely clear. Because in dimension two, we uh, we can easily um, 
list uh, uh, all possible algebraic types for the two by two two matrices. Uh, the algebraic types they, they depending on the Jordan normal form and uh, eigenvalues. So no, the first uh, possibility for this operator is to to have two distinct three eigenvalues. No, then the, this operator diagonalizes and. Uh, uh, that can be reduced to this very simple form. Uh, lambda mu on the diagonal and lambda and mu are different. So next uh, possibility for such an operator is to have uh, two complex conjugate eigenvalues. In this case, uh, uh, it can be reduced to, to the, this form, so like this. No, but this, the, what you see here, so this is a standard matrix representation for complex number lambda plus I mu and, uh, and it is important that so here we understand that mu the, the imaginary part of this uh, number of this eigenvalue is not uh, zero so this is it's indeed two complex conjugate distinct uh, eigenvalues so the next example so that, that is Jordan block uh, it may happen that uh, the eigenvalues are uh, are equal uh, and uh, so, uh, but uh, there is only one eigenvector, so, so we have just one Jordan block. And finally, uh, the, the last possibility in uh, dimension two, uh, this is a matrix with equal eigenvalues, so lambda, lambda, the lambda is real, and uh, uh, they uh, so, so we have two, uh, two. Two eigenvectors, and the meaning that uh, this uh, L is uh, is just uh, the scalar matrix. So it's a lambda lambda. It's a lambda identity. Uh, so there are four possibilities, and three of them are GL regulars. The first, the second, and the third. So the only exception, so the the, the case we do not like. So this is a scalar matrix matrix uh, proportional to the identity. So this uh, this is not. Uh, so GL uh, the regular situation. Uh, that's uh, the uh, so we can we assume that uh, if we have a two-dimensional manifold, to so GL regular operator on it, and uh, uh, so what is forbidden so to points uh, uh, where uh, this operator is proportional to the identity. So this situation is forbidden. Uh, in other words, if we uh, uh, remember terminology uh, introduced by uh, Andrei Konyaev uh, that was, uh, I think, two weeks ago. Uh, so he uh, he called such points uh, singular points of scalar type, where uh, the, the matrix becomes so, so just a scalar matrix. So scalar points. Uh, oh, uh, singular points of scalar type are forbidden in this case. Okay. Uh, good. Good. Uh, so to, let's go. Uh, our goal is uh, to describe uh, to describe uh, all uh, local normal forms for uh, such uh, operators. Uh, we call these operators so GL regular, but still we remember that uh, uh, such operators may admit singular points. Singular points where the eigenvalues collide and uh, uh, and, uh, and our matrix from kind of diagonalizable matrix becomes the Jordan block. So that, that it, 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 it's fine, it is not forbidden. But uh, first, uh, uh, let us discuss the situation uh, where uh, the point we consider and, uh, is uh, non-singular. It means uh, that uh, the, the algebraic type uh, of uh, our operator uh, does not change in the neighborhood of this point. So, no, but what does it mean? It means uh, that, uh, it, uh, uh, that uh, that's uh, so basically uh, three types we, we have just mentioned here. Uh, either at uh, this point, uh, so we have two, uh, distinct real eigenvalues or two complex conjugate eigenvalues or uh, at this point and in the whole neighborhood of this point uh, the, our matrix uh, the, the, our operator is uh, is a Jordan block it is similar to Jordan block uh, 
Okay, so the no no bifurcations happen. So what in this case, so what we can say that in this case, we of course we know the answer. Then the, so here so here is the list of uh, three non-singular points in dimension two. And the first one is uh, is just uh, diagonalizable. So with uh, uh, with real eigenvalues, so the the other no, it is. Uh, so you see, it is not uh, uh, not uh, diagonalizable in the real case, but uh, somehow diagonalizable in complex case, if you wish. So the the this uh, this uh, the standard uh, the representation for a matrix with uh, complex conjugate eigenvalues, and uh, the the last case. Uh, though this is a Jordan uh, Jordan block with a certain uh, eigenvalue which uh, may uh, vary. Uh, do we need to uh, prove anything here? Uh, no diagonalizability, no, but this is uh, as a standard theorem. Uh, the complex conjugate situation. Uh, so what the, the, what we see here? Uh, the, this is uh, the, the, we, we know that in this case we can introduce complex structure and if we use complex coordinate then l will automatically be of this kind so the, there was a theorem about uh, uh, the situation where uh, l has no um, uh, real eigenvalues that's exactly it. so this case uh, and in this case uh, the, the function f plus i g uh, so must be holomorphic uh, so with respect to the z coordinates. That's that's we know. Uh, and uh, the, the 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 last uh, so Jordan block. Uh, it's again. So this is that's uh, it's a very simple case uh, which uh, so it was uh, already discussed uh, so previously. So the, the the only thing maybe to mention is uh, that uh, these functions f g f plus i g and this function f of y, uh, these functions so can be simplified in uh, in real analytic case, so can still be reduced uh, to an, uh, a standard form by using uh, standard uh, uh, trick. Uh, so to what what I mean standard. Uh, uh, change of additional to the change of variables. So, so, to, so you know, for instance, if uh, let me remind you, so if if you consider f of x, if, uh, the when uh, if uh, the differential of of this function is not zero, you can consider this function to be just a new variable x uh, tilde equals f of x. Then the, you can just replace f of x with x tilde. So if uh, f of x so has, uh, say, 0 of order k, f of x equals uh, x to the k plus uh, higher order terms. So then you you can just uh, you take uh, the, the case root of this f and uh, uh, as a new variable, and uh, and therefore you can replace f of x with x to the k. So that's what is written here. Uh, so we can always uh, assume that uh, this function f of x is either constant on or reduces to you know, just to this uh, simple form, the power uh, of um, x, similar for g. Uh, in the complex case, so the same story, so that we can use, uh, that we can make a complex change of variables so that reducing uh, this function, so complex holomorphic function to you know, just the power of z, you, you can always do it. And uh, same here, uh, the, uh, uh, the eigenvalue of L f of y, so we can change uh, the, just this y coordinate, only y, keeping x fixed uh, uh, in such a way. Oh, uh, it, so why it is f of x? No, the y is better, of course. F of y equals f of zero. Uh, plus minus x to the power uh, 2m. Uh, so uh, everything uh, is easy in this case. So that is uh, that's not a, not a problem. And of course, you can do it in in any dimension. So if if you have uh, uh, if you have uh, a GL uh, a regular operator in uh, 
what is called algebraically generic point, then you can always find uh, a canonical form, uh, uh, which in the general case will just consist of, of blocks uh, in a higher dimension of blocks of, of this kind. That, that, uh, that is uh, easy. And uh, of course, uh, what, uh, what is less uh, uh, trivial is what happens at the singular point. So, so once again, I uh, recall that singularity uh, so means uh, that the uh, algebraic type of L changes at this point. So meaning that in the neighborhood of this point, eigenvalues uh, generically are so different, but at uh, this point, uh, point P, uh, they uh, collide. Uh, so it, what, what does it mean? Uh, so if they collide, but we know that at uh, this very moment, uh, uh, the, the matrix uh, is, uh, no, in general, it is either scalar matrix or Jordan block, but scalar matrices are forbidden. So it's so meaning that at the, this point when this collision, collision happens, uh, my matrix is, is a Jordan block with a certain eigenvalue lambda. That's lambda, it's some constant. So it's lambda identity plus uh, zero Jordan block. Uh, so now the, 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 the just uh, the, the one simple the trick to simplify the situation. So if I take uh, our nine hue separator and subtract lambda identity where lambda is uh, is constant, so just the same cost constant as uh, at uh, uh, this singular point P, then uh, the lambda minus lambda identity is still nine hue separator. And so this uh, the, the replacement from L to L minus uh, to lambda identity, this has some sort of rescaling. Uh, we have already discussed this phenomenon. So nothing really changes if you add or subtract uh, to the main host operator uh, identity operator multiplied with the constant. So all properties uh, to remain uh, the same. Uh, but uh, after uh, this replacement, so we may assume that uh, at uh, our point P, uh, so lambda is just a zero Jordan block. So nilpotent Jordan block. And then therefore, so what we need to do, so we need uh, to, no, to solve uh, the nine Hoist perturbation problem for, uh, so zero for nilpotent Jordan block, uh, so J zero. So we assume that our matrix is just very simple, zero, one, so zero, zero at uh, our point. And then to, to we, we say, we ask the question, uh, what about the neighborhood of this point? What may happen to this block? Uh, so if we uh, change uh, this uh, point P in, in the nine Hertz way, in the way that L is uh, still nine Hertz operator. Uh, and again, so we know what, what happens because uh, so we, uh, so we know that in this case, uh, the, 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 the matrix uh, L of, of X so can be reduced to the companion form. So we know that uh, the, um, uh, the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial in uh, this coordinate system so satisfy um, some very special conditions. And they, we even know how to resolve this uh, uh, conditions uh, with any initial uh, data. So to, we kind of we have already a lot of information, no, but no complete answer. So that's uh, that's what we are going to do now. We want to get complete answer and uh, and describe. <laughs> Excuse me. It describe all uh, possible nine Hertz perturbations of J zero. Uh, no, up to uh, up to. Uh, in invertible coordinate transform. Good. Uh, so what? Uh, so what? What is the main idea? Uh, we know already that uh, the the most important uh, functions in this business are the the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial. In this case, uh, for two by two matrices, uh, so we have just two coefficients, v and u. Uh, so v is a trace. Uh, 
uh, of L, U is uh, the minus uh, determinant. Uh, we always uh, accept uh, some, some convention about signs in the characteristic polynomial. So don't be surprised with this minus, minus, and minus. That this is, that, that is uh, uh, for some reason, so this is uh, uh, convenient. Okay, so, so we have two functions, u and v. Uh, and uh, uh, the, 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 what uh, the one and all, one and all, what happens to these functions under uh, this perturbation? And basically, so it's, if we know the behavior of these functions, we can reconstruct our, our operator. Uh, in this case, uh, so what we want to distinguish two essentially different cases. So we have two functions. And then, so, so in general, uh, so what, we, what may happen, these functions uh, uh, might be functionally dependent uh, in the sense uh, that uh, their differentials d v and d u are linearly dependent at each point usually in differential geometry as you want express uh, this property by saying that the wedge product of d v d u is identically zero so that's one possibility and uh, so the other possibility is when uh, the uh, uh, these differentials are uh, linearly independent almost everywhere. Uh, 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 here, the real analyticity is already important because uh, uh, if uh, um, a certain real analytic function is not zero, then it is not zero on open and dense set. Uh, in the smooth case, it is not true. By the way, good. Uh, so, so two situations: uh, the trace and determinant are functionally dependent, or they are functionally independent. Uh, independent almost everywhere. At uh, this point P, of course. Uh, so typically, so when you have singularity uh, at uh, this point, uh, this wedge product will be zero, but not zero in the neighborhood. Okay, so what are we going to do uh, in uh, these two situations and why uh, so do we want to distinguish them? No, the, the second situation is much better because in, in this case, uh, the, our operator L so can be just reconstructed uh, by using the standard formula. So if you, if you have uh, uh, formulas for V and U, in any coordinate system, we say X and Y is just arbitrary coordinate system, not necessarily companion, so it doesn't matter. So then uh, the, our uh, nine Hewitt separator can be expressed in terms of V, U, and uh, their derivatives in, the, in just in this form. That, that uh, uh, so this reference, so this is a formula eight in the, uh, in lecture two. So to, we can reconstruct L. So, uh, so, so something to understand. So there is some 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 kind of uh, uh, something to to remember and to think about. Uh, so this formula is absolutely perfect. Uh, so when the, the differentials of V and uh, U are the independent so that uh, this matrix is invertible. Uh, however, uh, at some point, so this matrix is not invertible, no, but still, so that we can use uh, this formula. This formula will give us a formula for L almost everywhere. And then at uh, so those points where uh, the, uh, the determinant of the Jacobi matrix vanishes, uh, so we will reconstruct L just by continuity. So if you have a smooth operator given on an open dense uh, set, uh, so then uh, you can reconstruct it uh, everywhere, not just uh, by continuity. So that that is a standard uh, uh, trick. Uh, no, but uh, this uh, standard trick will only work in in the case. Uh, so when in here in this formula one. 
uh, some sort of miracle happen. So miracle happens in, in what sense? So, so when you compute uh, uh, the the inverse matrix for uh, for the Jacobi matrix, you will divide by the determinant of the by the by the Jacobian determinant of uh, of this Jacobi matrix. Uh, so you have a fraction, and in fraction uh, the the uh, denominator of uh, uh, of uh, of this fraction vanishes somewhere no but uh, somehow in this case uh, so the other terms the numerator must be such that uh, the, the some sort of cancellation happens you divide by the function the, uh, which is equal to zero somewhere but still you will get a uh, uh, real analytic function. And this is, of course, what well, this is very strong uh, the property, which we will use, of course. Uh, so uh, in any case, uh, to, to what, to what I want to say, so if uh, the differentials of uh, these two functions, trace and determinant, uh, are uh, independent, then so I, I will just reconstruct L by using this formula. Uh, uh, that's what I, I will do. Uh, if um, uh, the, the, uh, these two functions are um, uh, dependent everywhere, so the determinant of the Jacobi matrix vanishes, they still, uh, I just, uh, what I can do, I can uh, rewrite uh, uh, this formula one. Uh, in the way to, to just to avoid uh, this matrix, so it's just I, I will multiply uh, with uh, uh, the, the Jacobi matrix on the left, uh, and uh, and then that I will get uh, uh, this identity here. Uh, Jacobi matrix multiplied with L uh, equals a companion form multiplied with Jacobi matrix. So the, the, the two, uh, this formula is uh, is is universal and uh, holds true uh, in all situation. Uh, the, this formula does not uh, allow us to reconstruct uh, uh, this matrix L completely, but uh, no, still, so we we can derive uh, enough information for the reconstruction. So the, we we will see how how this works. Okay, uh, uh, so we will assume uh, that uh, uh, our operator in in the point uh, so P we consider is a Jordan block. Uh, we will choose, we will work with coordinate systems for which this point is the origin. So P has coordinates so zero, zero. In, co in uh, local coordinates, we are going to, to, to work with. And all coordinate transformations uh, so we, we are going to apply. Uh, uh, to to this neighborhood, uh, so we'll leave this origin fixed. So that's uh, that's what we assume. Uh, 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 good. And uh, so then, uh, the, what I'm going to do next? Uh, I just I, I want to give the list of all normal forms. Uh, just that I will write down matrices uh, uh, L. Uh, depending on the type uh, of, uh, of, uh, of singularity. Uh, you will see that uh, there are several series of, of singularities depending on various properties and uh, situations for L. Okay, let's do it. That, uh, so the, this is a long list. Uh, uh, so what you see here, so this is just a half of it. Uh, so we assume that, that uh, our initial point, uh, our operator uh, is uh, just a Jordan block. Uh, so then the, in suitable coordinate, local coordinates uh, X and Y, this operator so can be reduced to one of the following forms. 
No, let's let's see what they are. No, no the first, no, the, the, uh, that is a uh, sort of kind of trivial example. So that we perturb this point, but nothing happens. So the L uh, remains nilpotent. So this is the L nil series, so just nilpotent. So the, the, uh, the next possibility is also uh, is, uh, is already familiar to us. Uh, this is a, a perturbation such that um, uh, the point uh, P, or P0, I don't know that P0 here, uh, uh, this point is differentially non-degenerate. So meaning that uh, 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 my functions U and V are uh, independent at this point. So differentials of these functions are linearly independent. Then what I can do, I can uh, choose uh, these uh, functions u and v you know, to be just uh, coordinates uh, x and y. Uh, v is x and u is y. Uh, and then uh, so we do to it, we have this uh, the very standard form uh, to which uh, uh, already appeared uh, many times in uh, our lecture. That, that, that is clear. So the next series, next series uh, is, uh, is when uh, the one of eigenvalues is identically zero. And uh, so the other is not. So the other uh, varies, changes. No, then so the other eigenvalues so can be reduced to standard uh, form, so the power of y. Uh, 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 yeah, I did know for some reason, so we want to distinguish uh, uh, odd power of y and uh, even power of y. So then in the, the even case, uh, y power 2k, so that there will be the plus minus here. Uh, uh, epsilon is plus minus. Obviously, so y square and minus y square uh, are different and cannot be reduced to each other by a change of variables. However, uh, so y to the power 3 and minus y to the power 3, so can be reduced to each other, transformed uh, one to the other by change of variables, just y to minus y. Uh, so this is uh, the standard way and a uh, standard uh, Phenomenon, and uh, you know, for this reason, uh, uh, so without the proof, uh, I will always uh, 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 distinguish uh, the powers, even powers, and dot powers. And for even powers, I, I, I will have to remember about plus minus. So the the next uh, next series. So these are no just uh, um, uh, these are. Uh, standard uh, standard uh, so Jordan blocks, which uh, were already mentioned in the list uh, of uh, uh, non-singular points, and uh, and in this case, uh, so there are no no singularities here. Okay, good. Uh, no, no, but this, uh, this is on, only the the first part of the story. The uh, the simplest part. So here is uh, the end of hard stuff. Uh, uh, let me remind you once again that uh, uh, L so can be reconstructed uh, from uh, from the, its trace and uh, determinant. For this reason, in the in the uh, list of of cases, I, I'm going to mention now. Instead of writing down uh, the, the formula for L, so for this formula, L equals to this guys, uh, I uh, will uh, write down only formulas for V and U in, in, uh, in our coordinate system. And then uh, you just uh, take V and U, plug uh, them into this formula and uh, get the result for L. Uh, v and U are somehow easier than, than L. Here they are. Uh, you see, this is uh, something, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, complicated or unpleasant, but uh, that is the life. 
So this is a list of all possibilities. What I want you to uh, pay attention to. So you see that uh, the the determinant of uh, L is uh, the formula for the determinant. It's very easy. So this is uh, this is just the power of y in all cases. So this is just the power of y. Okay. Uh, that's one uh, one point. So the other point. Uh, uh, so what about uh, trace? Trace uh, is also it's not very complicated. So trace uh, in all cases uh, that the trace um, uh, contains so some kind of standard uh, term here. Uh, so this is x multiplied uh, with some power of uh, y with certain coefficient alpha this alpha is not zero uh, and plus and plus some polynomial of y in all cases in all cases uh, we do not uh, need uh, to to go into details uh, right now but uh, what is important uh, to, no, to to no, just to to see the idea what we have done is the following. So we have succeeded to find the coordinate system so in which uh, u is uh, is very simple uh, and the v is, you know, let's say, quite simple. Uh, the point is uh, that you cannot simplify them further. You you can change uh, to a different coordinate system uh, such that that v and u are still the polynomials, but uh, we we think that uh, this is uh, this is the optimal form which cannot be simplified. Let's say uh, good. Uh, 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 we need to. Uh, now to prove this uh, theorem, uh, of course, what it is the, the proof is not very long, but uh, still for uh, the lecture, uh, I don't know if uh, if it, it would be a good idea to uh, to do it in uh, in in detail. Uh, I I would rather to to point out uh, uh, would rather prefer to point out essential points so how we how we do it so what is a strategy and uh, the the first uh, uh, first step is uh, is just to reduce uh, the determinant of l to the nice form not just to power of y this is our first lemma uh, under the assumptions of uh, our theorem uh, we, we can always find the uh, local coordinates x, y. It's not final version of local coordinates we're looking for. So this is kind of pre-canonical coordinates, let's say. So x and y, uh, such that uh, the u, uh, it's uh, minus determinant of L, is, uh, is either 0 or power of y. So why it is true? Uh, it, it, it is very easy. Because, uh, so what we are going to do, we are going to use uh, the, the formulas uh, to with the first we take uh, canonical co uh, companion coordinate form. We know that in this companion coordinate form, uh, uh, the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial to U and V satisfy so this uh, the system of PDEs. So that's, we know this. Uh, and uh, so if you look at uh, the second uh, uh, equation for uh, this uh, the system of PDs in dimension two, which you will see that it's very easy. Uh, it's just uh, ux equals uh, some function multiplied uh, with u. And this some function, uh, it's, uh, it's partial derivative of uh, v, but it doesn't matter. It's just some function, uh, and that's it. Okay, so no, but uh, this uh, the system of equations is easy. It's not system of equations anymore. This is just one single equation, and uh, so, and we think of it as just uh, not uh, PD but OD because uh, we. Uh, that we have just one derivative with respect to x uh, and the function u. 
the, there is no derivative of uh, u with respect to y involved. And for this reason, uh, so we can just write down the, the explicit formula for solution. So it's solution to this equation. So u is defined uh, so it, uh, by, by means of this formula here, where so it, uh, f of y, uh, you can think of it as a, a sort of initial condition. And then, so depending on this function f of y, it is either identically zero or uh, or can be reduced to some some powers of y uh, you 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 see what's what's going on uh, and uh, and you see that your u so can always be written in uh, some uh, special form and uh, here uh, so what you do you you think of this expression in brackets as just the new variable y. So the new variable y is, this is what you see in brackets. And, uh, and you are done. Uh, you, you have this reduction. So uh, the point is uh, um, uh, that uh, the determinant of L satisfies uh, the, the very nice uh, uh, ODE and uh, from this ODE, so that we can reconstruct uh, uh, the, the the this new coordinate y. And, uh, that's it. That's uh, that's one step. Uh, the next step is uh, the is the following. So now we still we want to simplify L uh, by keeping the the y coordinate fixed. So y coordinate uh, that remains unchanged, and I will be choosing x to simplify L to a little bit. So what, what I'm going to do? I, uh, I want to make a change of variables from kind of old variables to new variables. So X old, uh, uh, so this is kind of current variable from, <laughs> from say from lemma two. Uh, and uh, so U remains unchanged, X uh, changes. And that's what I want to achieve. Um, I, I want to achieve the following result. The L12 component of my matrix L. L consists of four components. I, uh, I, I, wanna, uh, I, I want this component, this particular component, uh, to be equal to one. Uh, so what, uh, what about this component? So this is uh, the, the component which in, in uh, the Jordan block, Neil Potton Jordan block, zero, one, so zero, zero. So this component, which corresponds to one. Okay, uh, so what is the proof? Uh, well, the proof is again, so it is, uh, it's very uh, natural somehow. So it, I, I have, uh, I, I have my, uh, the, the, my matrix L. In the form it is, so it, I don't know what it is, uh, just uh, some L. So if I change variables, uh, then uh, uh, the, the new L so will be defined in this way, where C is uh, the Jacobi, Jacobi matrix, okay? Uh, I want uh, uh, this component of L to be equal to one. No, now, uh, my uh, Jacobi matrix is, is like this because I do not change y. Uh, so the differential of y is, uh, is just uh, 0, 1. Uh, and uh, the differential of x, so, uh, they, they, these are some, uh, some functions. So g, x, uh, uh, g partial derivative of g with respect to x, partial derivative of g with respect to y some functions, I, I don't know what they are, I, I want to reconstruct them, okay? Uh, then, so just like I, I compute left-hand side, right-hand side, and I see what happens. I will, I will get this equation here. Uh, and this is, uh, this is, what is this? So this is a PD, PD uh, for uh, G. So my uh, function G must satisfy a certain PD of, of this form. Gx uh, derivative with respect to x uh, equals uh, a certain function. Uh, so depending on the g, g partial derivative of g with respect to y, and, uh, and y itself, so will be it in okay. So that uh, that no, that is uh, uh, the uh, standard situation. So it, it, and uh, I simply say okay. So it, I will solve this. Uh, uh, system of PDs, no, not system of PDs, no, it's just one single PD, uh, by uh, using Koshy-Kovalevsky theorem, and that's it.
Koshikvalevskaya theorem so say that you can do it. Uh, so locally in uh, the real analytic uh, setting. Uh, so what is important here, uh, it, uh, it may well happen that uh, uh, if uh, my operator L was not uh, so GL the regular, so it may happen that uh, uh, GX, so the, my function G, uh, GX will be just, uh, uh, will be uh, zero, and then uh, and then the, this transformation would not be invertible. The, but since uh, L is GL regular, you can always uh, find the initial conditions in in such a way that uh, the the uh, this partial derivative G with respect to X at the initial point uh, will not be zero, and uh, therefore uh, this transformation will be invertible, and uh, everybody is happy. Okay. Good. Now uh, that I uh, that I will continue sort of step by step. Uh, so there are many situations, and we should not forget about them. So the first situation. So we we assume uh, just uh, that both functions uh, uh, u and v are identically zero. Okay. No, then of course. Uh, so this is uh, the case of uh, Nilpot and Jordan Bock. So this case number one. Good. Next, uh, now I assume that uh, u, the determinant, is uh, identically zero, but uh, v is uh, is not is not identically zero. So then, uh, so what I do, I uh, use uh, companion coordinates. I know that they exist. Uh, I know that in companion coordinates, my functions uh, satisfy. Um, uh, uh, this system of, of, of PDEs. And uh, if my uh, U is identically zero, so then the, this term disappears, so this term disappears. And I see that uh, the V satisfies so this equation. So V uh, by X equals uh, V, VY, so like this, yeah? Uh, I uh, the, the will think of partial derivative of v, v with respect to y. I will think uh, of it as just a certain function, so g, okay? Uh, and uh, so then uh, this is a system, not, again, not a system, but just the equation, equation for uh, v. Uh, I will think of it as, uh, uh, as, uh, uh, as a system, as, as just uh, as an ODE. And uh, this is exactly what uh, we've just discussed in lemma two. And then, so using the, the same trick uh, so as before, so I can change coordinates in such a way that uh, my V uh, so will be you know, just the power of Y. Okay. No, but then, so then uh, again, uh, I uh, I use uh, the lemma three, uh, so to which uh, says uh, that I can change x without changing y, uh, such that uh, this component of my matrix L will be equal to one. Then I write down the the, uh, the relation between uh, the, the coefficients of characteristic polynomial and this operator L uh, with Jacobi matrix is involved. Uh, in this case, uh, Jacobi matrix is very simple because uh, U uh, is identically zero. So uh, Jacobi matrix, so these two guys uh, vanish. Uh, v depends only on Y. Uh, so therefore, uh, so these components, uh, the derivative with respect to X is zero, derivative with respect to Y is something. So it, I have this relation and from this relation, I see uh, that uh, uh, the, the, uh, this component L, this one, L to, to one for uh, uh, my, my matrix so it's a vanishes. Uh, the, this component L to two so will be equal to V. Uh, L one one, uh, I, I don't have any relations from uh, this equation for L one one, but uh, I know that uh, in, in, the, in my matrix L, uh, the trace equals V, but if uh, the trace equals V, and L22 equals V, then L11 is zero. So the, 
so what we are done. So that we have a matrix uh, with zeros in the first column and uh, the second column is one. And uh, so here L22, which is V and v, v is the power of Y. This is exactly a series M uh, from uh, my theorem. Great. Uh, good. Uh, so next uh, case, uh, uh, I assume that U is not identically zero, the determinant, but uh, uh, the, uh, the differentials of V and U, uh, uh, they, uh, they are dependent uh, at each point identically. So then I combine the lemmas two and three I uh, first I choose a coordinate system such that uh, the, the trace, oh sorry, the determinant uh, of my matrix so has a standard uh, form. So this is the power of y. Uh, and then next I change x uh, achieving, to achieve this condition. Uh, and uh, I use uh, my uh, standard relations between uh, uh, coefficients of the characteristic polynomial, the matrix L and the Jacobi matrix. In, in my case, Jacobi matrix is very easy. Uh, U depends only on Y. And uh, since, uh, so this condition holds, uh, then V also depends only on Y. So V doesn't depend on X. Uh, so that I have this relation. From this relation, I conclude that uh, L at one, two is zero. I see that, uh, uh, my uh, uh, matrix L so takes uh, this form. And uh, so then the, it's easy to see that uh, uh, this is only possible when uh, both uh, F and G, so if they uh, coincide. And uh, since uh, they coincide, uh, I, I will get a case of Jordan block and uh, uh, this is a series M. Good. Okay, uh, the, the way we have, the, we have done everything basically for the, the first part of my list. And uh, now, uh, ah, yeah, not quite. Uh, the, so it's one more case. It's when, if we assume that uh, uh, the differentials of V and U not zero at the very point P, at uh, the, just this point, and then the, the we have non-degeneracy. A condition and uh, so we we have uh, a series L and D non degenerate. So this is the first uh, slide uh, with the statement of the theorem. And now it remains uh, to to discuss the most complicated case when um, uh, uh, the the differentials of U and V are uh, not uh, uh, this di are, are kind of generically independent, but they are dependent at uh, our point. Okay, so uh, we follow our standard kind of strategy. Uh, so we uh, choose uh, the coordinate system to where uh, the determinant takes a standard form. Uh, so then we uh, cho choose, uh, we change uh, x coordinate uh, to achieve uh, so this property l12 equals 1. Then uh, so we again we use uh, this matrix relation from which we can reconstruct l. And uh, now we do the following. So that we have this relation and we, that we consider just the, the, this component just this component. We compute it uh, so what we, we will get. Uh, U is given, so this is important. V is unknown, but U is given. So U is, uh, is the power of Y. Uh, the, the, we do computation, we compute uh, the, this component, which is equal to one. Uh, and uh, then so we will get, uh, so the following, so we, will, we will get um, a certain fraction. So one equals so something divided by V of X. Uh, and then we multiply it with v o, v, Vx and uh, so we will get uh, this. Uh, 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 and again, so not what we are doing all the time, we are playing with uh, some, some systems so, uh, some ODs or PDs. So, so we have a system, system 
<laughs> I say system, but it's not a system. It's just one single equation, which is, which is much uh, much better. Uh, so it's a, it's a, it's a PD equation for V. It's a PD equation for V. So V, uh, the, what uh, what is important to remember, V is not uh, arbitrary here. So V is uh, is is very uh, special, and that we we want to understand what this V is. Um, uh, so we have the, this relation. Uh, we are not able to solve uh, this equation. So, but we can understand the asymptotic behavior of this function v. And if we do some, some analysis, we will see that uh, uh, this v uh, uh, so can be written in this form. So there is some sort of initial condition. Uh, x is 0, then uh, v is uh, some v0 of y, certain function. Uh, and then uh, y to the power s uh, multiplied with uh, some expression where x will be involved, alpha x plus and so on. And alpha is not zero here. So what is important to understand, what, what is important to see from, from this is the fact that uh, the dependence of v in x is sort of is very easy. So it is sort of in x, this function is linear. But it's uh, so basically it's about, that's what this lemma says. Maybe I uh, what, what and the, I, I need to explain why uh, so this lemma is important and uh, what we are going to do. Uh, uh, this is uh, this uh, lemma holds true in any coordinate system when so these two properties uh, hold uh, true for. Uh, the property for uh, this uh, my operator L to, to have uh, component one here, uh, and uh, U is uh, is a special form so power of uh, Y. In any coordinate system satisfying this property, so we uh, so we have uh, uh, this uh, uh, this formula. Uh, uh, and what, what I will do next, that I uh, will uh, change my x once again. I will lose uh, this property that uh, the coefficient of L, uh, the coefficient L1, 2 equals 1, but I will essentially simplify uh, the, the expression for V. So, so that's uh, that's again. So I analyze uh, this uh, uh, the, the behavior of my function. So, trying to simplify this function by uh, appropriate change of variables, um, and maybe I will skip the the, the proof of. Uh, oops, oop, oy, 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 oy. what is that? Okay, uh, the, so here is a proof. It's uh, it's a bit technical. But maybe I will skip it, and uh, then uh, 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 that I, I will explain what uh, we do next. So now we know that my function v, the trace of l, so has uh, so this uh, this form, this form here. Okay, uh, now I I just I I want v to be as simple as possible. Then I will do some, some change of variables. I, uh, so what, what's the meaning of this formula? The, 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 this formula is, uh, is written in the way that so after we do this change of variables, so then with respect to the new variable x, my function v it will take the form. That's exactly what I have in my theorem. So there will be some, some term of this kind, alpha x y to the power s, and, and plus uh, just uh, some polynomial of y. And moreover, the degree of this polynomial so will be at most s. So that is that is what uh, I did. So that just uh, the using uh, my uh, uh, so basically so that that both theorem one and theorem. 
companion form theorem and uh, the formula, the, the, the system of PDs uh, for uh, the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial in this uh, companion uh, form code, companion coordinates. I, I have managed to, to change uh, the variables x and y both uh, in the way that uh, you the determinant minus determinant is very simple and the v is also it's quite simple let's say with respect to x so the dependence on x is very simple it's just linear in x uh, so linear with uh, it's it, it looks like a x plus b where a is uh, is the power of y and the b is is a polynomial of y. Okay, is it the end of the story or not? No, no not not quite. So to just one step. Uh, do we uh, do not understand uh, so which polynomials uh, p s are admissible and what uh, in what sense uh, uh, they are uh, admissible. Uh, so in the following sense, uh, uh, I, I, I now I, I have this formula for uh, u and for v, and we know that L so can be reconstructed from this formula, the u and v, uh, by uh, using the, the formula one. It's a slide, uh, third slide of my lecture. No, no, but so we, we know how how to do it and we can reconstruct L. If we do this reconstruction, so we will come to this explicit formula for L. Uh, and uh, here you will see that uh, the, the, we will see something nice. Uh, so three components of L. So they are, uh, oh, the, the, the one remark. So this L is nine hertz. That, that is uh, no doubt uh, any operator L obtained by by means of this reconstruction is nine hertz automatically. Uh, so what? Uh, so what else? What what uh, what else we need to uh, take uh, care about? The, the following thing. So the, the components of L, uh, they uh, they, uh, they they must be smooth functions. No, but uh, they are not because we divide by zero. In, in some sense. So zero is uh, uh, just a partial derivative of V with respect to X. So you see it, 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 at the point we consider uh, uh, this is zero. This Y to the S and uh, at the origin, uh, this partial derivative vanishes. But what is good? So the other three components here uh, in my matrix L. So they are the smooth functions automatically. Uh, that's very nice. Uh, only, so there is only one component. Uh, so this one, uh, which is uh, which is kind of, which brings some troubles. Because uh, uh, it is absolutely unclear why uh, the, this uh, uh, this fraction uh, uh, represents uh, represents a real analytic uh, function. In general, it is not. Uh, so what we need to do, we need to find uh, uh, polynomials P S. No such that uh, this component here is uh, is real analytic. Uh, so it, it, so it, we we have we have polynomials upstairs and downstairs, and uh, so we divide one polynomial by the other, and the, and the, uh, the the numerator must be divisible, just divisible by the numerator. But let let us compute this uh, this uh, uh, component L. Uh, so one two see what uh, what it looks like. So, so here is uh, the, the the more explicit formula for this component. Again, so it is not uh, very important for us at the moment to understand. Uh, uh, so what it is, uh, the, 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 you know that uh, everything depends on the this polynomial PS. Uh, you will see that uh, uh, this formula gives you 
real analytic function if and only if uh, so this fraction so here it's it's a little bit uh, simpler than uh, the one uh, in uh, uh, given by the, uh, this formula no but still some some, some non-trivials we are looking for polynomials uh, ps uh, such that uh, uh, the numerator uh, of uh, this fraction is divisible by uh, the denominator. But this purely algebraic problem, I am not going to, to discuss uh, that solution. It's a kind of good exercise, but uh, it, it, it's easy. So that once again, you need to uh, find all polynomials uh, P, PS of Y, such that uh, so you, 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 you have this uh, kind of uh, it's a miracle, as I say, a miracle happens, and uh, you you, uh, you you have denominator, uh, you have numerator which is divisible by uh, uh, y uh, to the power s. Well, this can be done, and if you uh, do it carefully, you will get uh, just uh, this series uh, O P and C. Uh, you 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 you. you you will get uh, all possibilities for uh, this polynomial PS. Now, depending, of course, on uh, on you. Uh, you, uh, this is this, uh, this, uh, the, the um, minus determinant of our, our operator. And for each U, for each D, uh, the, you, you will get a series of polynomials which are uh, and then you see what is u. u is given and that y can be reconstructed. x x is also, so x, x can be reconstructed because uh, you know that uh, to, uh, x is uh, such that uh, you take uh, v's, you subtract something which depends on y and you have something linear in x. Uh, and uh, so then you just divide by uh, u to the power s and uh, you will get x. The, 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 this is uh, this coordinate system x y in which u and v have uh, this nice form so this coordinate system is unique uh, i say essentially unique because uh, uh, in in this case when u for instance when u equals uh, y square for instance what is y no y uh, can be changed by with minus y and then so you will see then x also x should be changed with minus x in order for uh, this form to 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 be preserved. Uh, no, but uh, this is a sort of minor point. Uh, so sometimes uh, x uh, y this coordinate system is uh, is defined modulo uh, this transformation just x y to minus x minus y and then uh, you you will see that uh, the the parameters of uh, uh, this series uh, uh, they, they they will be slightly uh, changed and uh, but this change is uh, is easy to to control so uh, uh, apart from uh, this uh, kind of small 
trouble everything else is uh, is uh, is uniquely is uniquely defined and so in particular it follows from this uh, that uh, the uh the normal forms of, from different series uh, they are not equivalent to each other and also they uh, within uh, the theory uh, within the series uh, they also they are different with different parameters no uh, except for uh, this uh, little thing okay uh, next we are going to discuss uh, singular sets and global behavior and uh, let me see so how much time we have for this? Oh no no no! The time is uh, is running. I still I wanna I I wanna finish uh, this lecture today. <laughs> uh, so let's have a very very short break and uh, then I will continue. So if you have a function, uh, if you function, if you have a question, sorry, if you have questions, so please ask. Okay, so the, I, I will continue. Uh, no, just to summarize of the previous discussion. Uh, you see, that was a long story, but uh, so uh, the, the achievement uh, is, is really great. Uh, so we know now everything about uh, GL regular nine Hertz operators in local setting. So, so we have local normal forms, and then, then so we can ask the following question. What about uh, global behavior? So if now, so if I if I consider if I consider the, the manifold two-dimensional manifold with GL regular uh, operator defined on it, uh, so uh, what what's going on? Of course, uh, the, the, the what I need to do I need to look at uh, the set of singular points. Uh, those where the algebraic type of L changes. Uh, so what does it mean? It means that eigenvalues of L uh, collide. No, but uh, it's in terms of uh, of the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial. So this means so that uh, the discriminant on, of the corresponding quadratic equation must be zero. So this discriminant in our case is very simple. This is V squared plus uh, for U. Uh, good uh, and uh, and uh, this is uh, basically so this is uh, the 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 description of the singular set uh, no except for the situation where um, uh, discriminant uh, is identically zero uh, and in this case uh, l is uh, similar to jordan block at each point and uh, and therefore the singular uh, a singular set is just empty. There are no singularities at all. Uh, good. Uh, no, the, let, let's see what happens depending on uh, on what kind of uh, singularity so to we have. Uh, 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 so what uh, we have this theorem. So we just look at uh, the formulas for the U and V in this theorem and immediately so we 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 see what happens uh, so in this case uh, so what kind of set uh, we obtain uh, uh, from uh, uh, this relation so discriminant is zero and and, uh, and then so it we, we so if if you do it uh, then immediately it, it's uh, it's just uh, so one minute uh, uh, you you will come to the following conclusion. So if L is a Jordan block, so that's either nilpotent or 
uh, with uh, non-constant eigenvalue. So then in this case, so there are no singularities, no singular points. Uh, the singular set is empty. In uh, uh, in the case when the, our point is uh, non-degenerate, so the, uh, then the, the singular set is defined uh, the, by uh, this equation and in coordinates x and y, it looks like a parabola. Good, and uh, in all uh, the other series, m, o, p, and s, the singular set in in local setting. So this is defined in, in very simple way. So this is just y equals zero. So this is a line, uh, very nice. Uh, so uh, so what, what next? It, 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 we can see from this that the locally the singular set is a, is a smooth curve. Uh, if we uh, uh, consider now this uh, the singular set uh, in in global setting, so then uh, so what we see that uh, uh, the the locally so this is a curve then the, then globally no, but this is still a curve right so that uh, singular set. Uh, the locally is a submanifold, uh, and also the singular set is closed. No, no, therefore, so this is a submanifold. Uh, maybe uh, disconnected, so the singular set so can be represented uh, as a disjoint union of some some curves. Uh, so what is important? These curves do not intersect because intersections are forbidden. So the local behavior. Uh, of the singular set is very easy. So it, it, it's not kind of not intersecting curves. So this is just a curve. Um, uh, moreover, so if uh, our manifold uh, is compact, uh, so then uh, this curve must be closed, must must be compact and they, they, they are circles. Very nice. So uh, the, the, the behavior of singular set is nice. Uh, now, so if I consider just one component, let's say one circle, so then uh, all points from this circle, they obviously they belong to uh, the same series, either O, P, or S, or M, uh, good. Uh, of course, uh, different uh, circles may represent uh, different series, uh, but uh, so each circle it, it is associated with one particular series. Uh, now, uh, so if we move, if we, if I take a point X and uh, uh, move along this circle along this uh, uh, curve, what happens? Uh, of course, uh, the series remains the same, but uh, the parameters. Uh, the parameters so they slightly change. That the, that is important to remember. Uh, uh, how no, it, it is easy to to see. So if I so what I'm doing, I, I kind of I I do kind of shift. Uh, y is constant, and that I uh, I move along this x axis. Uh, so from x to new point, which is x minus x zero, for instance. So, so if I do this change, I, I will see that. The, the, the parameters uh, of my my family they, they they will change but in a very simple way uh, so there will there will be only one C which uh, so will actually change uh, so it's so one real uh, parameter one of the coefficients of this polynomial PS but uh, the, what is important that uh, so it's if you uh, move uh, along this curve, this C will change in this way, and it means that it is either increasing or decreasing. It, it means that, that when we come back, then uh, uh, the, uh, it is just uh, the return is not impossible because uh, uh, so we uh, uh, see so if we come back, then so that we should return with the same parameter, but it is impossible. And this is a very uh, uh, important conclusion. It's, it means so that uh, uh, singularities of type O, P, and S, uh, they may not occur on uh, uh, GL regular 9 manifolds. 
And also, uh, so non-degenerate singularities may not occur on M if M is compact. And therefore, so we come to the following conclusion. So if uh, our manifold is compact, so we take a closed uh, GL regular nine Hertz manifold, then uh, the singular set is either empty, that's one possibility, or uh, all the singularities are related to, to the series M. And then automatically uh, so that one of eigenvalues is constant on our manifold. It means uh, that uh, uh, what we have described all local singularities, but uh, only one of them can actually occur on, uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on a compact manifold, which is nice. It, it means uh, that uh, uh, the compactness of a manifold uh, essentially so reduces uh, the number of uh, possibilities. Okay, so let's see what kind of examples we can construct. No, no, first of all, uh, uh, take a torus. Torus is very nice because uh, on the torus so we have a very simple coordinate system, uh, basically the same as uh, Cartesian coordinates about uh, defined so modulo 2 pi so-called uh, uh, angle uh, coordinates. Okay, examples. No, the first example. Uh, uh, the first, we uh, let us assume the situation where the, the eigenvalues are uh, real, uh, real and uh, different uh, from each other. Okay, the, the, yeah, there are no singular points. And uh, the type is, uh, that's the first type that we discussed today, uh, two different eigenvalues. Uh, then there are uh, basically three possibilities still. Uh, they can be both constant, one can be constant, the other is not, or uh, both uh, the eigenvalues are not constant. So let's see what happens. If uh, so, we have two constant eigenvalues, how can I construct an example? No, then, so what I, what I can do, I can take you know, just any uh, vector fields on the torus that are linearly independent at each point. So there, there are many examples of uh, such uh, vector fields. You know, I take one of them, one of examples of xi and data, and then so I just declare that xi is uh, uh, the the first eigenvalue, eigenvector, sorry, and eta is a uh, second uh, eigenvector. And that is an example of an operator with constant eigenvalues. And uh, we know that in dimension two, if I have an operator with constant eigenvalues, that is nine Hertz automatically. So this is this is an example good. So next, uh, so one uh, eigenvalue is constant, for instance, zero. And uh, so the other is not. No, then to, I, I can easily model uh, uh, this situation with uh, this operator L here. So zero and F uh, phi two and G here. So the function G, uh, uh, as we discussed, uh, so with what we can do uh, by uh, uh, the uh, appropriate uh, uh, change of uh, the variables, so these functions uh, can be reduced to 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 one. But uh, globally, on the whole torus, uh, you you cannot do it. So to let let us uh, leave this example as it is. Uh, 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 so once again, I repeat. So the, the further simplifications are possible, but it is not uh, not obvious uh, how, how to do it. No, but but there, there has definitely this is non case operator. And uh, so the next, uh, of course, so this is just uh, uh, diagonal form uh, where so the first function, first eigenvalue depends on uh, phi one, uh, the first angle variable. And the second depends on phi two, the second um, angle variable. This example also can be uh, generalized uh, slightly by taking finite covering. Uh, I will explain it in a minute uh, with a picture uh, at the, the end of this sentence. 
uh, so is, is missing on the slide, unfortunately. Uh, uh, so the, the point is, is if you uh, if you do this, uh, this sort of covering map, then so you will see that uh, this, this global diagonalization in angle coordinates uh, is uh, is is not possible. Uh, no, no, but that's still uh, the the good example. I will explain what it is. Here is some 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 explanation. So the, uh, the so this is very simple example, right? So take uh, just uh, the first eigenvalue to be says it must be periodic, of course, sine phi one and the second uh, two sine plus sine phi two. I, I here put this two uh, to to make sure that uh, the eigenvalues do not collide in all points, so they are different. And one is strictly uh, uh, greater than the, the other. So this is it's, it's a very standard. Uh, the torus uh, that can be understood as uh, uh, the quotient of the plane with respect to the standard uh, lattice. Uh, uh, so two pi periodic uh, rectangular or the square lattice. Uh, the, about modification, I can modify this example. So in this way, so it, uh, uh, the standard uh, lattice would be uh, just this one. So if if maybe let, let me do it in a slightly different way. So like this point, this one. Uh, so. With this one and this one. So, so if I consider to just this square with these vertices uh, and uh, take it, uh, this square is a fundamental domain for my um, uh, my torus. Uh, then, so I will get exactly the previous example. But now I, I, I want to do something else. I uh, I want to take quotient uh, with respect to the lattice, uh, so which is uh, which has a different basis. So the basis of this new lattice is uh, two uh, e i and e uh, two e one and e one plus e two. Okay. So the, so the fundamental domain is uh, this parallelogram. I I can do it, of course. So this is just the covering covering map. Uh, so then uh, the, the this example is uh, differs from the previous one and cannot be uh, cannot be uh, represented uh, in uh, in 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 this way well, what is the reason why no, no, no because uh, so it's if you if you consider so this example you take uh, uh, the line uh, the you may say integral curve uh, for uh, the first eigenvector and the integral curve for the second eigenvector. So do you see, so there is, so they intersect, but uh, they intersect at just one single point. In, uh, in this example, uh, you, you see that uh, there are actually two intersection points. So this one, and if I do, the op, 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 it, it's it's one point, but uh, the, I I I didn't come to the initial points because so this point, the oh, sorry, is this point is the same as this one, so I, I have to continue. So then the, this is that that's yeah uh, uh, like here. So this is uh, this is an integral curve in, 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 which is a circle, and you see that there are two intersection points here. So this uh, this example is different, and also it's one more illustration. Uh, so when I say that, uh, so we can start with if we consider constant eigenvalues, so then uh, we can start with any uh, two linearly independent vector fields on the torus. So the the behavior of, of these vector fields also can be very tricky. So this is one of possible examples. So there are two vector fields here. So this is that's one vector field. So this one. Uh, the the integral curves are so it's a line and uh, hyperbolas. And so the other vector field is uh, is uh, so, oops. Uh, 
noise transversal to it, if you see. And uh, so we have very tricky uh, map on on uh, this uh, the torus. It's uh, it's known as uh, rib uh, filiation on 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 the torus and. Uh, uh, I'm afraid that the classification of all uh, different uh, pairs of, uh, uh, of linearly independent vector fields on the torus, it's a very difficult problem. And uh, it, 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 no, but if they are given, so that we have an example. Uh, they they can behave in uh, in a very complicated way. That's what I I want to say. Uh, so next, uh, some some global examples uh, uh, on uh, new manifold, the plane bottom. Uh, the examples on the torus we have just discussed. Uh, so can be easily transferred to the Klein bottle. So if we remember that. Uh, the Klein bot also can be obtained from the torus is if you take a quotient uh, with respect to involution. Involution defined uh, by means of, of this formula. Of course, uh, so if we want uh, so this involution to work, <clears throat> so there should be some additional assumptions about uh, uh, the uh, uh, non-hose operator on, defined on the torus. So this operator must be invariant with respect to this involution. It means that you need to uh, impose some additional conditions, <clears throat> which, which are very easy to, uh, to write down in each of these cases. Uh, so, you, you, uh, so basically, so this slide is to say that examples uh, 7, 8, and 9 can be transferred to the Klein bottle in, in very natural way. And there's uh, so one more example for the torus. Uh, uh, so that we can construct uh, uh, no either nilpotent operator on the torus, again, in the same way as before. So we take uh, two linearly independent vector fields, xi and theta, uh, and we just declare uh, that uh, uh, L of xi equals zero, L of eta equals xi, and then, so this is exactly the nilpotent operator. Uh, any nilpotent operator in two-dimensional case is nine hours, and uh, so this gives us an example. Uh, uh, the example, this Jordan block with constant eigenvalue, uh, that, but it is not necessarily constant. So here is uh, an example where uh, it is not constant, uh, but uh, some, some function which depends on phi, phi two. The, it's more or less canonical form, uh, except for the fact that this function so g of phi one and phi two is not equal to one. Uh, it can be equal to one, it's fine. No, but in general, it is not constant and uh, locally you can make it constant, but globally it's, it's difficult. So, uh, okay, so on the torus, uh, you can construct examples. Uh, why uh, we do not consider any other um, uh, surfaces like sphere, for instance, or, uh, or, or projective plane or uh, uh, sphere with two handles, uh, uh, because of, of the following theorem. Uh, in fact, in dimension two, so uh, if I have a closed uh, connected uh, a manifold uh, with a GL regular Nanhuis operator on it, then there, there are only, uh, only the following possibilities. Uh, M2 is orientable, and uh, so then L is, uh, is uh, alpha identity plus uh, so beta J, where J is a complex structure on M2. So we know that every orientable M2 admits a complex structure and actually many different complex structures. Uh, and alpha and beta are constant. So that, that's one example. So next, uh, the M2 is homeomorphic to neither torus or Klein bottle and L has uh, two distinct real eigenvalues. 
examples uh, have just been discussed, uh, or M2 is homeomorphic to a torus and L is similar to Jordan block at each point. Uh, examples were given in previous slide. Um, or the M is homeomorphic to either torus or Klein bottle, and one of the eigenvalues um, is, uh, is constant. Uh, it is not kind of classification, but uh, the complete description of possible types. It follows from this uh, theorem in particular that uh, <clears throat> if M is, uh, is orientable in not a torus, uh, then uh, there are uh, only trivial examples of uh, uh, GL regular Nanhuis operators. Uh, basically, identity operator and complex structure with uh, constant coefficients here, so nothing else. If uh, M is non orientable and different from the Klein bottle, then uh, M uh, admits no GL regular Nanhuis operators at all. So, uh, uh, theorem nine, how, how to prove it. Let me see how much time we still have. Oh, no, it's okay. So I, I, I will spend maybe a couple of minutes to explain the, the, the proof of this uh, theorem. Uh, the proof is as follows. Uh, so we assume uh, first uh, that uh, so there are no singular points. There are no singular points. Uh, so then uh, so L uh, either has two distinct real eigenvalues or two complex conjugate eigenvalues or L is similar to the Jordan block. Uh, if L has uh, two distinct real eigenvalues, so this case, uh, so then uh, so in, in this situation, so what can we say about uh, the topology of uh, my manifold M? But at each point, so I will have two eigenvectors. Uh, but more precisely, uh, I, I will have uh, um, uh, two Eigenvectors, so they are not defined uh, uniquely. So they are defined up to proportionality. It means uh, that, that I will have just uh, uh, the line, uh, that, uh, which is called a directional field. Uh, by uh, using Riemannian metric, so I can normalize uh, the, this vector E1 to, to be equal to 1. No, 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 but still, uh, so there will be some uh, some problem, it will be then defined up to plus minus. This plus minus uh, that, that can be kind of killed by uh, the taking covering uh, over this manifold. Maybe a two sheet covering, maybe four sheet covering. So I, I can achieve the, the, the result that uh, at each point, I will have two uh, linearly independent eigenvectors. It means that up, uh, after covering my manifold will be uh, so the, what is it called uh, uh, parallelizable no, but uh, two dimensional parallelizable manifold is just a torus it means uh, that uh, uh, my manifold M2 can be covered by torus and M2 itself is either torus or Klein bottle and that is exactly that is exactly my uh, uh, case uh, number two in this theorem, right? Case number two. Uh, so next, uh, if I uh, have uh, the complex eigenvalues, no, but then uh, I know that uh, the complex eigenvalues must be constant. So that there was a theorem, if you remember, uh, Andrei Konyaev explained this phenomenon. And since uh, they are constant, uh, then so we have just case one, where uh, the, our operator is just identity with certain coefficient and plus complex structure with certain coefficient, so, so that uh, the eigenvalue will be alpha plus i beta constant everywhere. So next, um, uh, so what may happen that at each point, um, so case uh, three, what was case three? Uh, so L is similar to Jordan block. Uh, so if it is similar to a Jordan block, I have at each point, I have a, uh, an eigenvector well defined uh, up to plus minus again. No, but I can take a covering 
get uh, two sheet covering and then so that I will get the, the vector field uh, so with uh, no singularities. Uh, it means so that uh, our manifold is uh, either torus or Klein bottle again. Uh, but Klein bottle is not uh, is not allowed. So it, uh, this is uh, also sort of the very interesting phenomenon that uh, so it's if you have a the Jordan block at each point on the manifold, it, it, you, you can show that uh, your manifold is orientable. Uh, it, 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 why? Because the orthomorphism group of Jordan block consists of ori orientation preserving transformation. So this is maybe slightly unclear what I say now, but uh, there is uh, the exercise to, to clarify this point. Uh, and therefore, so plain bottle is forbidden and uh, so we have a Jordan block on the torus, so this is case three. Okay, uh, so the, if uh, the, the singular set is trivial, so it's empty, then so we have so these uh, three first cases from theory and nine. And finally, so we, we Assume that uh, so singular set is allowed. So if singular set is allowed, then uh, so we know that uh, uh, the, this singularity is uh, of series M. So there is only one series uh, which is allowed on the compact uh, the manifold. Uh, and uh, we only need to show that this is either torus or plain bottom. But again, so, so if you if you have uh, uh, so one that I can value, so uh, which is zero. What you can do, you can uh, choose uh, uh, the, the smooth vector. You can construct smooth vector field, which uh, corresponds to this eigenvalue on your manifold uh, up to covering. And then the, you will see that uh, your manifold is again. So it, your manifold admits a vector field without zeros. Uh, and this is only possible it means that the earlier characteristic of this manifold is zero and the manifold is either torus or plain water. And this is case four. That's it. That uh, this completes the proof. So essentially, so we know what's going on. And uh, tomorrow, our, our conjecture which still needs to be checked is, is, uh, is that essentially, no, up, to, up to covering the examples, uh, I, uh, I listed uh, today for the torus and the for plain bottles. Uh, these examples exhaust all possible possibilities. Uh, exercises, uh, the, the first exercise, uh, it's not directly related or maybe absolutely unrelated to GL regular operators, not just it's, it's an interesting fact. Uh, if uh, we assume that the trace uh, of uh, our operator is uh, is zero at each point. Uh, then uh, and L is nine hertz. Uh, then L uh, the eigenvalues of L must be constant. And, uh, and moreover, something similar holds true in any dimension. So next, uh, it's also good exercise. Assume that uh, so we want to define nine hertz operator in R two. Uh, so with the property that uh, this operator is zero everywhere except for a disk, and inside this disk, so there are L is in, in at least at some points, um, it so has um, uh, two real distinct non-constant uh, eigenvalues. Uh, the exercise three, so it's basically that is about uh, nine Hertz operator. Oh, sorry. Nilpotent operator. So, so if you have a manifold with a nilpotent operator on it, so it doesn't matter if M is compact or not. Doesn't matter if this operator is uh, nine hertz or not. Uh, in dimension two, so this implies uh, uh, orientability of M, uh, and uh, tomorrow, uh, in any even dimension, uh, this is true. So it's, if you have a nine hertz operator on a manifold. Uh, which is nilpotent, nilpotent uh, Jordan block at each point. So then uh, the manifold must be orientable. Uh, and uh, finally, finally, this exercise, uh, honestly, I even don't know the answer to, no, but this can be done since we have uh, 
a local classification. Uh, so the one constructs of GL regular operator, uh, so such that uh, uh, at, at certain point, uh, the uh, differential of the trace is not zero, but uh, the differential of, uh, sorry, other way around, the differential of the trace is zero and the differential of the determinant is not zero. Is it possible or not? So that's that, that's a question. That's all for uh, for this lecture. So we have completed discussion uh, uh, on uh, GL regular operators. Uh, so what I want to, you to understand, uh, so we have some sort of general theory and general understanding about these operators in dimension two, uh, so that we can, uh, classify them locally and describe structure of singular set, construct many examples, and uh, hopefully all possible examples uh, on closed uh, uh, manifolds. Uh, in the real analytic case, in the smooth case, uh, there are still many open questions. And uh, in dimension three, uh, uh, the problem three or higher, uh, all these uh, problems about singular set, about uh, um, uh, local normal forms are completely open. So there are uh, so many possibilities to advance in this field. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, so if you have any questions, you, you, you can ask. Next time we will discuss completely different topic. Okay, so if uh, you if no more, more questions, so then I stop. Okay. And then bye.